Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. And welcome back to another episode of the Monthly Otaku Collection. This is a series that I do once a month at the end of each month where I recap, show you guys, introduce and talk about all sorts of different otaku anime related content that I was touched upon this month. I shouldn't say touched upon, that sounds gross. I guess I can also include this as like a monthly recap kind of series as well, just to like talk about like what, I, what happened this month and like pretty much my collection of monthly otaku things, as the title suggests. So first and foremost, if you guys don't know, earlier this month I attended Otakuthon in Montreal. It was super fucking fun, it was the second year that I went. Um, I've left the link to the vlog that I did, where I met up with Novalaki Misty, as we did, and enjoyed all the panels and stuff. And I also did a special live edition of Antimi Senpai at Otakuthon as well, where we answered your questions live in front of a live studio audience. So if you'd like to check those videos out, then I've left the links to both of them in the description below, so yeah. And yeah, it's because of that and also just like a lot of personal things that have been happening this month, uh, I didn't really get to buy a lot of anime or otaku related stuff. Of course, I did get a lot of gifts from you guys, which I also did a fan mail opening as well. Wow, I'm just plugging every single fucking video on my channel this month. <laughs> so if you'd like to check out the fan mail opening as well, where I got all sorts of letters and gifts from you guys from Otakuthon, then I've also left that in the description below. And yeah, I came back and by the time I realized it, it's almost the end of August. Shit. So, unfortunately, I can't really show you any new figurines and I can't really show you any new manga because I just didn't have the time to go out and buy those kinds of things. So, instead, I'm going to talk about some movies that I ended up watching this month. Predominantly talking about the films of one particular director, which I have been a big fan of for a very long time. This man right here, Shinkai Makoto. Now, for those of you who don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, then you wouldn't know, but yesterday, as of the recording of this video, I went and saw Shinkai Makoto's latest film, Kimi no Nawa, or Your Name. Um, I went with my buddies Mime and pdr san and I had been looking forward to this film for such a long time, I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna drag my friends and come and enjoy this wonderful experience. It was amazing as well because we went to like this rather small uh, cinema in Ikebukuro because it was the only place in Ikebukuro that it was actually airing, but it, it, this place was such a small uh, cinema that there were only two rooms and both of those rooms were only showing Kimi no Nawa, so I was like, wow. All of these people who are lining up here are here for Kimi no Nawa, so it just goes to show how much of a hype this film was. And after the film finished, I was just like... Shinkai Makoto, you beautiful, beautiful man. I don't really want to like give like a whole review of the movie because I don't want to give anything away and I want you guys to go watch it for yourself, but all I'm going to say is that I fucking loved it. Now, the only way that I can kind of relay what this film is about really is if you guys have seen Shinkai Makoto's other big film, Five Centimeters Per Second, which I did actually do a review of a very long time ago on this channel, think of Kimi no Nawa as a sci-fi fantasy M. Night Shyamalan twisty kind of version of Five Centimeters Per Second. Because there certainly were a few plot twists that were happening and a lot of people in the cinema were like, Oh shit, dog. And what I find interesting about Shinkai Makoto's films is that, you know, if you just look at it purely based on like the romance aspect and like the romance that happens between the main two people, then it's it's pretty fucking cliche. Let's just say that. It's cheesy, it's cliche. For some people, it might kind of be unbearably cheesy to the point where you might not even enjoy this film all that much. But concerning Shinkai Makoto, literally all of his films are like that, so there's really no escape from that. But what I thought was kind of brilliant about Kimi no Nawa was that Shinkai Makoto managed to take this rather cliche, cheesy romance story between young love and made it interesting again. As I said, it's kind of got like a sci-fi fantasy kind of twist to it, so it not only added this like romantic tension between the two characters, but it also just added just dramatic tension as well. Like you actually wanted to know what the hell was going on. There was like a mystery element involved, which kind of added to like a new layer of enjoyment, I should say. And so pretty much hyping up for the release of Kimi no Na, which only released on the 26th, so like it hasn't even been out for a week yet, I actually went out and watched and re-watched some of Shinkai Makoto's old films again, just to bring myself into the Shinkai Makoto I guess, cycle. And the first movie I did watch was actually a one that I'd never surprisingly seen before, 
and that was Hoshi no Koe, which if you guys don't know is pretty much Shinkai Makoto's debut film. I think he released that independently in back in 2002, I believe. It's a short film, it's about 25 minutes long, and I watched it and I am had mixed feelings. First of all, the good part of the mixed feeling was that for a 2002 film and for a film being independently released, this film looks beautiful. You can definitely see like the aesthetic influences that Shinkai Makoto managed to bring to the rest of the films that he made, especially with Kimi no Nawa. Like, the aesthetics of Kimi no Nawa, I have to say, it's probably one of the best looking animated films I have seen ever. The comment that I love that Mime told me after the movie ended was like, she was surprised at how amazingly accurate all the scenery was. And it was, like for us who actually live here because it's set in Tokyo at most parts, it's very very accurate, like it's like Shinkai Makoto, it's like Shinkai Makoto took just a regular film and then they animated over it, that's how accurate it is. Not to mention the animated time lapses and just like the composition of shots and everything, oh so pretty. And by watching Hoshi no Koi, I can definitely see that kind of early influence. Of course the characters don't look that great unfortunately. And concerning the story and I guess like the whole plot and progression of Hoshi no Koi, it's kind of confusing at first because it's such a short film and they're trying to cram in so much of like this story. It's kind of hard to, I guess, create a connection between the characters in such a short amount of time, but Hoshi no Koya, I think, manages to do it pretty sufficiently. I also went ahead and rewatched Koto no Hano Niwa or Garden of Words again because that is just one of my favorite Shinkai Makoto films. I think, I, actually, I think maybe Kimi no Nawa might be my new favorite Shinkai Makoto film, but Koto no Hano Niwa before watching the film. Kimi no Nawa was my favorite. And if you've seen that, then you would know that that is one of those romance stories that I don't really find to be cliche. I think those are, that one is a lot more of an interesting romantic story, I find, and aesthetically is was one of the best looking Shinkai Makoto films until Kimi no Nawa came along. So if you've never heard of Shinkai Makoto ever until you viewing this video, then I would suggest you go and watch, of course, Kimi no Nawa, definitely. But before that, I would recommend you go watch Garden of Words and 5 centimeters per second. Of course, all of his other films are just as brilliant. I've seen all of his films. Even, even Hoshi no Koya was also a good short film, if you want to check that out. But if you want to get into any Shinkai Makoto films before watching Kimi no Nawa, I recommend you go watch 5 centimeters per second and Garden of Words. But yeah, other than that, the film was fucking brilliant. Um, Shinkai Makoto, you're a fucking genius. So thank you for the brilliant film. And I'm looking forward to the next Shinkai Makoto film, whenever comes out. There are also a few other new movies that I do want to go and watch. Um, the second Kizumonogatari film is out, which I didn't fucking know. I need to go watch that ASAP. Other than that, guys, I didn't really have enough time to go buy any new figurines, which I wanted to. I didn't really have time to go buy any new manga, which I also wanted to. I couldn't even go out to buy any like light novels or even just regular novels, so that's kind of a bummer. So... Unfortunately as well, like I can't really show you guys any like new merchandise either because I don't think I bought anything in Otakuthon. So yeah, that was a bit of a bummer. But don't worry guys, next month there will be a lot of things happening and hopefully I will be able to show you guys and sh introduce you guys to some new merch, new manga, new anime recommendations, new film recommendations, whatever the fuck. And if you do want to catch up to just my life and you don't really give a shit about the anime that I talk about, then I do have a second channel where I just do all sorts of non-anime related videos and vlogs, so maybe go check that out if you haven't already. Anyways guys, this is going to do it for this rather shorter uh, monthly otaku collection. I'm sorry again, I didn't really have a lot to talk about, but I didn't want to like leave you guys hanging with these episodes because a lot of you guys do watch these monthly otaku collections and I am so so thankful for you guys for tuning in to these episodes as well so thank you if you are one of those dedicated viewers and I hope you enjoy the rest of the month here's to a great September there are a lot of cool things that are going to be happening in September